Where do I look? My goodness gracious. Looks like I'm buxom. I'm not buxom. I'm just fat. Hola guys. I want to check in. That don't look right. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I wanted to check in with y'all. And update y'all on what the heck has been going on and where I have been. And I had plans to set up and <coughs> talk to y'all, but I'm tired. So I'm just going to lie here and give y'all a quick update on what in the heck, where am I looking? On what the heck has been happening. So, the last time I videoed, I think little dude and I were waiting to go pick up my mom from her procedure that she had had and I got the call that she was ready so I went down there to pick her up oh, where am I looking? there oh no I got the call that she was ready to get picked up so I get down there but she wasn't in the lobby like she usually is so I asked the nurse where she was and she said oh she's right here and I kind of peeked over and she's um sitting in a wheelchair surrounded by doctors and nurses I'm assuming which is different because they usually have her in the lobby waving um so no sooner does she say oh your mom's right here then the receptionist lady says <coughs> she's had a fall what the heck do you mean she's had a fall? What do I do? I, my mom's never fallen. So my my first question is, do I take her to the ER? And they're like, no, we've already called the ambulance and they're on the way. We think she may have hurt her knee. Okay, well, mind you, my mother had just had a procedure on the stents in her legs. So she was pretty out of it from the anesthesia. And, uh, but you could tell she was in pain. So the ambulance comes and they take my mommy away and I'm right behind her. Little dude and I are right behind her. And we're thinking busted leg, um, maybe dislocated kneecap because she has arthritis really bad in her little legs. But it turned out she broke her hip. So... The last few weeks have been taking care of my mom, taking care of Caleb who got sick, trying to take care of myself because I got what Caleb had. We're both still a little, well, little dude is pretty much over it and he still has some congestion and cough, but I think mine might have turned into something worse or trying to turn into something worse because, um... I'm having difficulty breathing when I lie flat. I'm <laughs> so exhausted I had to lie down. I'm having difficulty breathing um, when I lay flat, like on my back. Um, if I talk too much, I can't get a full breath after a while. And if I just overexert myself, you know, if I'm cleaning the house or bringing in groceries or whatever, I've noticed the last week has been, it's been a struggle to, get a good breath but uh, my mom was in the hospital for <coughs> eight days <coughs> they replaced her hip and then she went to rehab and she just came home here she's staying here because it's more convenient um, for her doctors and the surgeon and all that here and here there are no steps at her house there are steps to get into the house and she's doing well enough that she could walk into her house but we're still a little leery we don't want to risk her falling again um so she's she's here and we finally we're not in any real routine we don't have a routine yet i mean it's all new to us we're all transitioning to broken hips and all that stuff so we're still 
trying to get used to our new norm. But she's doing well. She's 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 taken well to the physical therapy and she's very, very stubborn. So that helps in regards to her moving around and getting better because she does not want to be dependent on a walker, which she's on right now. But the last three weeks have been very chaotic, very busy, very stressful. I'm exhausted. I don't feel well. Taking care of her, making sure she's okay, and then again taking care of little dude when he got sick and having to miss work and running out of PTO and my check being short, and it's just been a huge snowball effect. And I'm just tired. And before <clears throat> all this happened, I don't know if you guys remember my saying that I was having panic attacks and my anxiety was really, really out of control. And for no reason. I mean, at the time, there was no reason. Nothing was wrong. Nothing nothing was wrong. There was no, There weren't money issues. There weren't health issues. <laughs> Some folks are saying maybe I had a premonition that something bad was going to happen. And that's where all that anxiety came from. I don't know. But I'm just getting along as best as I can and keeping a smile on my face and doing what I got to do. But I am exhausted. I'm tired. Um, but that's what's been going on since three weeks ago. And the way she fell is what upsets me. A little horn on my eyebrow. The way she fell, they allowed her to, a 75-year-old lady who just had a procedure on her legs, who was under anesthesia, they allowed her to walk to the bathroom by herself uh, after they made her wait for a while. Um, she's not sure what happened. She's not sure if she may have tinkled on herself and slipped on the tinkle because she had had to go to the bathroom before. She just got up to walk away. But the fact that they let her walk off and there's a clinic staff of people watching her walk up the hallway and nobody intervened, nobody put her in a wheelchair, nobody asked her to need help or anything. It's absolutely negligent. I work in a senior care clinic and you don't let these little debilitated folks on a good day go to the bathroom by themselves. Because things like this can happen. And she fell in the bathroom. They had to pretty much jimmy the door to get in to get her. And here we are. You know, it's it's one doctor appointment after another. It's, she set up with home health, thankfully. Uh, home health is coming to the house a few times a week. Physical therapy is coming to the house a few times a week. She is able to move around on her own and fix herself food and you know clean up on her own while she's home alone but she is supposed to get a home health aid that has not been established yet which ticks me off because I work for home health that's what I do I set up our senior patients with home health and it's just not coming together as fast as I think it should as fast as I would do our patients but that's what's been up. <laughs> I really didn't want to lie here and then do a little update this way. But like I said, I'm pooped. And it's Monday too. Mondays are always rough. Mondays at work are really rough. Little old folks have had all weekend to brew and stew and get angry about things. And then they call and unload on you on Monday. Plus, I don't feel well. Um... I just couldn't wait to get home. I picked up McDonald's for my mom and my kiddo and took showers real quick and I'm just kind of lying here. I do have some stuff to show you guys that I picked up as I'm running around um, back and forth to pharmacies and all that just to clear my head because the anxiety was super bad. I had two weeks where I cried. That's all I did. The first two weeks, all I did was cry. Everything upset me. Everything stressed me out. I felt like the world was falling apart and everything was caving in on me and I, I wasn't going to be able to handle it and I'm not ready for any of this and what if I fail my mom and what if, oh, what if, what if, what if, what if. I mean, my anxiety was ridiculous. 
Um, I'm better now. This last few days have been tear-free. But I think it's because I see my mom walking around. And she's doing so well. And little dude isn't as sick anymore. He has just a little residual cough. And as far as I go, my friends are after me to go to the doctor. But one, I don't... I, I don't think about it. It's like everything else gets in the way, and as long as I can breathe eventually, <laughs> I'm fine. Um, I was way worse last week than I am this week, so. But anywho, that's a little update on where I've been. There was so much more I wanted to tell you guys, but it's just not falling into place in my head, I guess. But... Yeah, it's been a crazy few weeks, and I want to show you guys the disaster of this room because the room itself, the room also is in transition. I'm in Big Dude's room, and I've, before my mom's accident, I tried, I had started to girlify it some, and then everything just stopped, and it's a mess. It's a disaster. Do I have a bogey? But anywho... If I have a bogey, forgive me, guys. I've been doing my days. But let me show you the chaos in this room just to get up a little bit. And then I'll probably attach a little haul. I finally got out this Saturday. My mom was good. I had to go pick up some prescriptions for her. And they were having the community yard sale, garage sale that they have at least twice a year here. And uh, I did go out and get in the mix of that. Um, I felt terrible, but I, I got out of the house. You know, I got in the sun and did a little vlogging. And, and if the man allows me, which it didn't, I will attach it. So I think this is just going to be a quick update little video. And then I'll do the haul because my memory just shut down and my phone shut off. So... Thanks for checking on me, and don't worry, guys. I'm fine. God is good. God's going to get us all through this. And um, I'll see you guys here very, very soon with a little haul. Okay. Look at the disaster, guys. I started bringing in the girly stuff. There are toys. Little dude's been camping out here. I still haven't steam cleaned my chair even though my little steamer is here I've been bringing in things without taking out things I mean it's ridiculous I, I have stuff here that I want to incorporate <laughs> Bo boogie rag um, I have some pictures here that I'm gonna do a little project with I mean this room is a disaster it's a transition. There's some stuff I want to show you guys that I picked up. The only thing I've done so far is put her up. But, um, yeah, this is the chaos that I have been sur sur not surviving, living in for three weeks. I mean, it's terrible. And, and I know that that affects my mood as well, but, yeah, it'll get done. It'll get done. This room is going to be gorgeous. So, let me splice together this little update and then clear up some memory. And I'll do a little haul video next because I did pick up some stuff at the community yard sale. So, till I come back, I love you guys. Love y'all bunches. And little dude is here. He's just downstairs chilling. Y'all will see him in my next one.